Hi, this is Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I'm here to do a weekly reading for Aquarius. This is for you and the other person. So this is for the week of November 30th through December 5th. So we're just going to see what comes up. This is for Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. What do we have? That didn't go very well. So what do we have? What do we have? What do we have for Aquarius? You and the other person. The overall energy is the hanged man. So somebody is thinking. They are thinking a lot. Okay? They're thinking about what has happened. Thinking about the future. Going through a period of withdrawal, perhaps. Perhaps you are and the other person. Perhaps both of you are. Feels like you guys are struggling here. They're struggling within the partnership. Somebody, you, you are both learning some kind of lesson. Perhaps a timeout is needed. Or a new perspective is needed. So this may be like a probationary period with somebody that you're dealing with. So that is the overall energy between you and whoever this person is. Um, I feel like right now you may not be feeling too excited about whoever you're with. You may be thinking about moving on, letting this person go. Or there's just some sort of instability here. There may be another person that you are worried about. Um, there's definitely force. Whoever you're dealing with may seem a little forceful to you. I feel like they are withdrawn. I feel like they may not have the best of intentions or they're just not communicating clearly. They're not really, um, being open. They're not really opening their heart up. They may be seeming very, very cold to you. And I feel like you're feeling a lack of confidence in this relationship. You may be feeling like you're doing something wrong, you know, uh, and you're really, really thinking about moving on. You probably feel like maybe the attraction, maybe there's a, there's a little bit of, uh, attraction issues here, a lack of passion. You know, you maybe you're, you're losing your passion for this person or your desire, or your drive, or they're stealing your energy, or you just don't have any desire to, um, engage with him. There's definitely, definitely, or them, there's definitely a level of disconnect, discontent. And this is your future together is the four of cups. I feel like there's some sort of uh, angst, right? I feel like there's discontent. Uh, I feel like there's an opportunity for love here, but somebody is not communicating. They're not opening up. They're not uh, really opening their heart. And I feel like it's because of another person. There's another person here that is hindering somebody from opening their heart. Um, there's a third party per se. It could be somebody from the past or I don't know who it is, but there is a third party that is causing somebody to ignore an, an, an open opportunity for love. It's like, no, I'm not sure that I want it. Somebody's not really opening their heart. And I think it's the other person. They're not opening their heart to you. So in turn, you're feeling like, you know, maybe it's it affecting your image. It's affecting the way you look at yourself. I feel like, um... You need to, to uh, maybe there's some jealousy issues here as well. I don't know if you're jealous. Um, this, is, this is you, them, and your future or the main challenges. Okay, so I feel like right now there is definitely some sort of third party. Now, a third party doesn't have to be a lover. It could be a child. It could be, a, it could be an ex. It could be a mother, a father, um, a friend. There is somebody that is in the way. And my advice is to, 
you know, maybe it's maybe it is time to part ways because the Three of Cups reverse. This is the advice card. The Three of Cups reverse is parting ways. You know, maybe it's time to part ways from. I don't know if it's this person or it's the friends. Okay. Um, there's a lack of emotional growth here and there's somebody that is getting in the way of happiness. Um, so yeah, I feel like there's some sort of extreme competitiveness here. Somebody is competing for either your attention or your person's attention or your person is extremely competitive right here. Their feelings, they're very full of lust. Whoever you're dealing with is, has a lot of, Lust has a lot of, uh, I don't know, maybe it's an addiction of some sort. You could be dealing with somebody who is, is selfish. You know, all is not as it seems with this person. This person is ruled by the shadow. They are not who they project themselves to be. I'm not sure if you're dealing with a Capricorn. You don't have to be. It could be a Capricorn. It could be a Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Um, but we have Capricorn right here in the middle. I think that both of you are thinking about moving on. You're struggling right now. There's a lack of balance. The main challenge is you guys mingling, getting, doing things on the same page. There's a lack of uh, balance here. There's disharmony within the connection. And I feel like it's because um, there's, somebody, there's somebody that is in the middle. There's somebody that is in the middle of you two uh, having a harmonious partnership. Um, I feel like whoever you're dealing with is is pretty smug. Okay, they're very very smug. They they probably use their looks as a tool. You know, their looks are one of their biggest tools to get what they want. This person doesn't appear to be really emotionally available. They don't. I feel like they're always not as it seems with this person. They may be very sexy. They may be, they may look very, very good. You know, they may satisfy you in a lot of ways, probably a lot of, maybe it's sexual ways. I don't know. They satisfy you as far as looks go. There's ego here. Both of these cards are card of ego. We have somebody, and this is your person. Your person is very egotistical. And I feel like they just want to have it all. They want to have it all. I feel like this person is very shallow, whoever you're dealing with. Um, what they care about is getting their satisfactions met. And I feel like you're thinking about letting them go because I feel like they're not meeting your needs. I feel like they're not. I feel, I feel like, like when you look at them, it's almost like... What is wrong with you? Why do you have to be be that way? Why is your ego so big? You know what I mean? Um, anyway, the overall uh, future together, I don't think it's, it's you know, if you are married and you're happily married, well, good for you. But if you're not, it doesn't, it feels like there's definitely a lack, lack of balance. Something is off. Something isn't right. Okay. And I think that you know it. I think that you know it. I don't. I, I. I feel like there's a third party here, and there there could be some sort of denial, you know, pretending that there's not, or or choosing not to see. You know, I'm choosing not to see that there is. There's definitely a third party. It's it's very very clear. There is somebody that is uh, causing disharmony within your ability to grow a relationship. I feel like you. Um, you're really, really thinking about moving on or, or they are, so, somebody is. This is about going to a better place, moving, uh, leaving this, this situation behind. Whoever you're dealing with has a self-image problem and it feels like they bring you down. You know, they, they I don't know if this is like a psychic vampire or what, um, but they make you angry. I think this person really pisses you off at times. And I think they piss you off because of, you know, how they, their body language, their body language really, really speaks. It talks. I think that they're very flirtatious. Whoever you're dealing with is very materialistic as well. They're very materialistic. They're very much into their, their outside uh, exterior, you know, the way that they look. And they use that as their biggest tool. Um, I do see disharmony. Uh, I don't, I'm not sure this is going to work out with the temperance reverse. This is your overall together. I mean, right now, I feel like there's going to be frustrations going on between the both of you. There's going to be a lot of discontent. Some of, some of you may even seek, one of you may, or both of you, we may even seek counseling, you know. Um, but I do feel like somebody is really, really, really thinking about somebody else. And that is why they're not really opening their heart. 
They're not opening their heart fully to you. They may be using you just for looks, you know, to look good, like like they, or to make the other person upset. So keep that in mind. Um, so yeah, I feel like uh, whoever you're dealing with appears to have it all. This person likes to have it all. This person appears to be more than they really are because deep down they're not emotionally available. They don't give their heart. They don't open their heart. They don't communicate well. They're hiding something. You're dealing with somebody that is hiding something from you and I think that you absolutely know it. Um, Now, this is engaging in negative patterns, so I don't know if somebody is hanging on to something that isn't good for them because it looks good, makes them feel good. Codependency. This is codependency. You just want to have anybody. So it feels like, you know, and it could be the person that you're with. I don't know. Maybe it's both of you because we have, you know, this is holding on to something when there's something better. There is something better here. There's something better for you, but there's codependency in the way, in the desire to not be alone, to the desire to look good, you know? So, you know, I feel like um, parting ways isn't easy, but letting go will bring you satisfaction. It will bring both of you satisfaction. I feel like if you were to let go of this person, whoever this person is, they wouldn't bat too many eyelashes. And I hate to say that. I hate to say that, but I feel like they wouldn't. I feel like they they have somebody else lined right up. So Aquarius, I feel like there's a third party that is in the way of a harmonious relationship. And I feel like you're holding on to the relationship because of codependency. And the other person is too. I feel like this is a relationship based on uh, lust, you know. I don't see any love in these cards. I, th I see a lot of discontent. I see a lot of disharmony and upset. This, this is upsetting. I feel like there's some self-healing that is needed between the both of you. You both need to re-examine with that temperance card reverse. You need, need to re-examine why you're in this relationship. It's not healthy. Something isn't healthy with the temperance reverse and the devil right next to it. This is a codependent situation. And I know that you are thinking about moving on. But what will everybody else say if you do? So there's social pressure here, especially with that devil in the middle. There is social pressure. What is everybody going to say? Maybe that's a lesson that you need to learn. But anyway, that three of cups reverse is dashed expectations. You know, it's loss of a friendship or love. You know, maybe, maybe it's time to, you know, own up. I feel like this party is over. The honeymoon is over. I feel like it's it's time to uh, part ways. And I don't know if it's with a friend or a family member. Could be the third party of parting ways. Somebody needs to part ways with somebody that really isn't on their side. I do feel like there's a third party. And I think there's ignorance here. Ignoring it. Because this is ignoring Ignoring that there's a third party trying to, you know, push it aside. You can't push it aside. It's there. Good luck.